Hello people of interwebs, I'm Alan, as known as Dana. Today's video is going to be about Nova and specifically how I play her. This video will be focusing on decoy build. You can find this build in description below. I'm not telling you that this is the only way how to play Nova. No, I'm just showcasing you how I play her. I do make mistakes, no doubt about that, but throughout making of this video I have learned so much more and I feel need to share it with you all. If you learned even one slight thing of this showcase, I will be really glad. But let's get now into the video itself. Usually in early game when I play Nova, I start by placing decoy on the ground like it's shown in this clip. This way I'm trying to find out how good opponent I'm against with. If opponent attacks my decoy, they will be using their abilities and mana and in the same time it shows me their playstyle. Like are they aggressive or are they passive players. This way I can determine how should I execute my positioning and when should I start my fight in a later game. In this next clip you can see how I start with the decoy and wait for Asmanan to act upon it. After that I start my burst. I wanted to be sure that Asmanan couldn't escape thus I used my ultimate ability and gave our teammates a kill. Here is yet another clip how decoy can save you and in the same time grant an upper hand in engagements. As you notice, know, enemy Nova used triple tap on my decoy. This following clip shows my best decoy placement so far. I start by placing decoy in front of the enemy ETC and because I have level 16 talent, I will also be placing another decoy at my location. I then run away from my second decoy to create this triangle of death, which confuses enemy ETC of my real whereabouts, thus granting me a kill. Let's see that again in real time. It's really good to use decoy as damage soaker to prevent ally from dying. I learned from this engagement that Lily and Arthas are not aggressive, thus this gives me perfect opportunity to poke and harass and eventually push enemy back and allow me to cap the objective. Sometimes I do use ultimate ability of mine to remove threat from my teammates and occasionally from myself. Following clips will showcase of those scenarios. Even though this next clip is a successful kill, I still screw up my ability usage. Let's see that again. I started with the deco, which is the right choice. Immediately afterwards I used my rewind cooldown, which is a really bad choice because I miss so much potential damage. I'll show you the real way I should have used my cooldowns in the following clip. So. Start with a decoy placement, use a pinning shot, then snipe, and after this activate the rewind. Place again a decoy, use again a pinning shot, and finally snipe. You can now finish with an auto attack. This is the whole rotation how to use a abilities of a Nova. Now I'm gonna show you how it's gonna happen in the game, though I'm gonna be in try mode. There we go, this is how it should have been done. If you have some difficulties to execute this burst attack, like I did, here is an example where you can actually practice it. 
practice it in such a way that you don't have any problems when you go in game and fight other players. The location is right here. You just come here by just demolishing everything, and then activate a fort, and you just practice, practice, practice on others until you get this rotation spot on. That's the really good way to learn how to use your abilities. And here is a final flavor which will be showcasing how Nova can get a wombo combo with ultimate ability. If you found this video to be entertaining and educational or it needs some kind of improvements, please feel free to let me know in comments below. Otherwise, see you in the battlefields my fellow heroes. Bye!